Hello, this is Rod Smith here with KRCG. This week we are partnering with the Jefferson City Chamber of Commerce to showcase the finalists of the 2020 Small Business of the Year. And we are downtown Jefferson City on Madison Street and it is River City Florist. Great part of our community, a beautiful outside on Madison. River City Florist, one of our finalists. We're gonna go inside and see if we can see and find. There is Lauren Moscato. How are you, Lauren? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. And there's Dad, Mike Hello. Moscato. Hello. Mike, your store is beautiful. It always Thank has you. been. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about River City Florist. I know you've been here for a long time and you've been committed to this community. Yeah, sure have. 19 June of 87. Uh, Wonderful opportunity. I, I can't imagine what life would be like without it. You know, so 33 plus years is all I know. It's uh, uh, walking in the same door, sitting at the same desk, and, and <coughs> it, uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful road. Great uh, community support. Mm -hmm. uh, too many, I could thank people for hours. We won't go there, but I mean, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of support from a lot of people and uh, from you know, great employees to great customers. It's a beautiful store if you've never been down here. Uh, Lauren, you have <laughs> so much to offer here, just, to, just about everything. Oh, goodness, just about everything. Everything flower and plant related, home decor, honey items, butterfly jewelry, wine, <laughs> pretty much everything. And this time of year, you've got the fall colors out here. It looks great, Mike. Thank yeah, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've been blessed. Been blessed for a long time with, with some great designers, and some a couple new things. Um, Lauren, you might show us something right outside here. Oh, I yes. noticed was new. Come here. This is our flower cart. I have named her Rose. No one knows that <laughs> now. Um, but anyways, I got the idea um, of just seeing in the bigger cities where people have carts on bikes or they have large food truck like trucks okay. where they can take their flowers other places. Um, so for instance, um, we've been at a couple different uh, farmers markets and um, we'll be down at the Performing Arts Center when they have recitals and events going on just to kind of bring the flowers to people. So if they don't have time to come up here, I'll be right by the front door and make it really convenient for them to grab some flowers for their little ones. That's awesome. You talk about being involved in the community. I know, Mike, that's been an important part of what you have done since 1987. Yeah, well, well was, it is important, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is important. I mean, we're a small community, and people remember things, and, and I, I mean, we're nothing without the community, and so, yeah, we're going to get back. We always will. You've done so many things. I mean, you can you can... Talk about a few of those, Lauren, some of the things that you're even doing today. Uh, uh, you go downtown. Y your handprint is all over here, isn't it? Yes, we've got 100 hanging baskets yep. and 18-ish bowls on the corners that we maintain daily. Um, keep them nice looking and fresh with water and fertilized and all that. Madison and, and some other yeah, customers. Great neighbors, Madison's and, and a few other uh, uh, individuals, uh, uh, banks and the lawyer's banks office around. that we do bowls for. It's um, it really makes a difference. We think it does. It makes them happy. Makes us happy. I, I think it makes everybody happy. Our new we, neighbors we, over here were so jealous of our our uh, fall yeah. plants that they asked for us to put some yeah, fall yeah. plants in their planter yeah. so oh, they matched sure. us. <laughs> Mike, I remember many days coming down here and helping you out with uh, giving away roses. You gave thousands of thousands. roses away. Uh, I think we started off with like ten thousand roses, which we thought was a bizarre number, and it sort of is. It was, uh, but we've given away a dozen at a time, and uh, yeah, it's called Good Neighbor Day. Good and, Neighbor Day. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we just may re resurrect that again. <laughs> you you know? had people lined up all the way down to Central Bank and passed, didn't yeah, you? Absolutely, yeah, for hours, <laughs> for hours. Yeah, it was, what a great day, and we had a great people. We had governors down here, and first ladies, and, and yourself, and Tom Henke, and it was always... It was just, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And now we sort of, we, we've gone from that and transitioned into a, a, a flower card program where uh -huh. we give money to United Way uh, and Downtown Association. Yeah, money from uh, every sale. Uh, yeah, from every sale card. goes we to that. So we, you know, we didn't stop doing things. We just switched it up a little bit. Well, you've been so giving. As we head back inside River City Florist, downtown Jefferson City, it's just gorgeous the way they have it set up. Um, 
this has been a, a different time for us through the pandemic, and how have you had to overcome and do things differently, I guess, through, through these times? I know you, you talk about trying some new things, but uh, how have things been for you through this? Uh, I think we've been really fortunate. Uh, we've been staying busy with things that we can do, uh, like no contact deliveries. People can always call on the phone and send flowers um, when they leave their house. So we're fortunate that we can offer that service. Yeah, unfortunately, um, the CDC let us stay open. Yes. yes. I mean, you know, yes. because of we've always delivered and we could, we could do our business and not really change a lot of it. We had to close our doors when they told us to close our doors. But, you so know, the phone long, still worked. People were so appreciative. When we answered the phone, oh my gosh, you're open? Oh my gosh, I need to send my mother something. I can't see her for her birthday, mm -hmm. things like that. So or it was a put lot. things outside of the door and people could just pick them up, no contact. Um, when everyone went into quarantine, there was a houseplant craze. Everyone wanted houseplants, it was crazy. So we luckily stocked up on them and I could put them on Facebook and people could say, ooh, I want that one. They would call and make their payment and then I'd set it right outside the front door and it was like, Nothing ever happened. We didn't have to have any contact, and everyone was fulfilling their plant and floral needs still, so that was nice. Mike, you've run a wonderful business here, and, you. and you're able to keep it in the family. That's pretty special, isn't it? I'm telling you. I, I can't even tell you how special my daughter is to me. Oh, you're so for, sweet. For obvious, <laughs> obvious reasons, but what she's done for this business, I said the other day, uh, maybe exaggerating a little, a little bit, but it's like officially passed me up. Okay, so there's a transitionary time, and there's other business going through it where father goes to son, uh, or, or father to daughter, and, and our transition is just going wonderful. Right now, it's two heads are better than one, and a lot of times, if we have any type of, well, I should do, I think this way, she thinks another way, I just think, I just go to her way, and more <laughs> times than not, it's a better decision. So, you know, I just try to uh, keep my mouth shut, do my work, get out of the way, you know, and, and enjoy it. I'm uh, super, super fortunate. Well, congratulations, Mike Moscato, Lauren, uh, on running a wonderful business, being a part of our community, and you are a finalist for the 2020 awesome. Awesome. Chamber Small yeah. Business of the Year. That's awesome. What an honor. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. It's great to be downtown Jefferson City with Mike and Lauren and, and uh, displaying and showing you a little bit about River City Florist. Again, one of our final four finalists for the Jefferson City Chamber Small Business of the Year. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, thank you to all of those members of the Chamber of Commerce in Jefferson City.